The manta ray is one of Hawaii's most fascinating and stunningly beautiful sights. And I was amazed and delighted to experience close encounters with them during a night snorkel off the coast of Kona on the big island of Hawaii. Manta rays, sometimes referred to as the butterflies of the sea, are beautiful sea creatures that live in warm tropical waters. Their side fins have evolved into wide triangular wings, which they use to fly through the water. These wings range from 4 to 26 feet across, which means they're some of the largest sea creatures anywhere. Manta rays have a much thicker mucus coating than other rays, which helps to protect them from parasites and prevent infection. Therefore, it is important never to touch or attempt to ride the manta rays. Manta rays' bodies are flattened from top to bottom like their ancestors, which is advantageous for hiding in the bottom sediment from predators, such as the large warm water tiger shark. All manta rays have extensive color patterns on the shoulders and especially the belly. The shape and extent of these markings form a pattern as unique as a human fingerprint. The reasons for these markings is not really known, but these patterns do help researchers to catalog all individual mantas in a given area. The mantas we encountered were given names such as Big Bertha and Lefty. Manta rays are the biggest species of rays, with the largest brain-to-body ratio of the family of skates, sharks, and rays. They may have evolved from bottom feeders to become open ocean filter feeders. Manta rays feed on plankton and fish larvae filtered from the water passing through their gills as they swim. The forward-pointing, paddle-like organs at each corner of a manta's mouth are called cephalic lobes. They are basically forward extensions of the pectoral wings, supported by radial cartilages. Mantas have been observed using their cephalic lobes like scoops to help push plankton-bearing water into their huge mouths. Manta rays frequent cleaning stations where small fish, such as Ross, Remora, and angelfish, swim in the manta's gills and over its skin to feed and clean it of parasites and dead tissue. Manta rays have often been seen leaping completely out of the water. There may be many reasons for these leaps, including mating rituals, play, escaping a predator, and communication. The loud splashing from the manta's re-entry into the water can often be heard for miles. Beautiful mantas flying through the sea. Wave your graceful wings and fly so close to me. Your power and your beauty take my breath away, and I feel so humble as I join you in your play. Gliding and turning and circling around, down beneath the waves in this peace that we have found. Silver fish and bubbles rising in the light, feasting on the plankton late into the night. Angels of the deep, I know you see me here. I am amazed by your presence. 
gentle cavalier. You teach me humility and the grace of the divine. Nature's wondrous creature, the honor is all mine. The ancient Peruvian Moche people worship the sea and its animals. Their art often depicts manta rays. Not knowing about their gentle nature, two 1930s movies played on the manta's fearsome appearance. 1930s The Sea Bat, starring a pre-Frankenstein Boris Karloff, and 1936's The Sea Fiend, later reissued as the 1946 Devil Monster. In 2009, SeaWorld Orlando debuted Manta, a flying roller coaster themed to resemble a manta ray, along with an exhibit featuring other ray species. I hope this film has inspired you to take a closer look and experience your own special encounter with these beautiful, graceful butterflies of the sea.